In this video, I'm going to go over three laptops on Amazon that are currently on a Black Friday deal. And we're going to start with this MSI Katana A15. Now, this is definitely the best one on the list uh, for the money by far. And I'll show you a couple other cheaper options. And I'll have all of these laptops linked in the description below if you do want to check them out uh, to make sure you're getting to the specific listing that I'm talking about. Now with this MSI Katana A15 in particular, you're going to be getting a 1440p monitor attached to the laptop, of course. Um, it has 32 gigs of DDR5 memory running at 5600 megahertz, which is very good and very quick, um, especially in terms of some of these other laptops uh, when you compare them to some of these other cheaper laptops I'm going to show you today. Um, you also get an RTX 4070 graphics card, of course, the, the laptop version, you're not getting the actual desktop one, but still the RTX 4070 graphics card, um, along with, you know, the 32 gigs of memory, especially in this one, in this laptop in particular is going to be able to run any game you want, um, or any task in general, whether you're video editing, gaming, uh, anything like that. It's going to have plenty of, uh, power to run at high settings at high FPS, uh, and you, you shouldn't have any issues running anything you want on this. So that's why I think that for $1,300, uh, this is one of the better deals I've seen. The next laptop on this list is going to be this Asus Rogue Strix G16. Um, now, you can already immediately tell by just looking at the listing, you're going to get a downgrade in a couple areas here. Uh, particularly and most concerningly uh, to me would be the DDR5 RAM. You're basically getting that cut in half. You're only getting 16. Um, this is also running at only 4,800 megahertz uh, speed. So you're lower, you have half the amount of RAM as that previous one, which is only $200 more. Um, it also, uh, of course, is only having 4,800 uh, megahertz speed ram which is slower than the previous one again um you're also strangely with this one getting a 1366 by 768 pixel screen resolution or at least that's what it says on the uh product information which is again a pretty big downgrade from the 1440p resolution the previous one offered for only 200 dollars more um, with that said, with this being $1,100, it's still not a bad deal if you really just don't have that extra $200. Um, for $1,100, you're still going to get uh, good performance uh, in most things, but uh, with that RAM cut in half and other things, you're going to be limited in performance uh, a lot more than you would be compared to that other one for just $200 more. Uh, but if you don't have that extra $200 and you're just looking for something right at this price range, this is still pretty viable and it's going to be able to run uh, most games on medium settings pretty well. When I say run most games at medium settings pretty well, I'm specifically referring to more difficult uh, games to run that are notorious for being difficult to run, such as maybe Warzone or Call of Duty, um, as they can be tricky. But many other games are going to run just fine and smoothly on this. If you're talking about a game like Valorant or Apex Legends um, or Minecraft, you're going to just breeze through that with this laptop. And now for the final laptop on this list, it's the MSI Thin 15. Now, as you can tell, this is definitely the most budget friendly one coming in at just $700. Um, and you do get some decent value here. Um, if you're not looking to play those super high-end games, this can definitely be a very good value. Now, what you get here um, is 16 gigs of DDR4 memory. So getting a little bit outdated, um, but certainly fine for most people. Um, and it does only run at 2400 megahertz speed. So a little bit slower on the memory side, which again is going to cause you to struggle in those uh, tougher games to run, such as Call of Duty and Warzone and things like that. Um, but for other games, it would be okay. Um, you do get a smaller uh, hard drive space with just a 512 gigabyte SSD. That's really not too bad. Um, and then you do get an RTX 4050, which again is weaker than the 4070 in that first one we showed um, and even the 4060 in that last one. But uh, for other games like Minecraft and even Apex Legends and Valorant, I'd probably run pretty good on this as well. So if you are more in the range for a true budget uh, type of laptop that's still gaming capable, um, even in some slightly more difficult games to run, you're going to be able to at least uh, have them playable on this, I would say. Um, and then other easier games to run, like I said, Minecraft and Valorant and CSGO and stuff uh, should run very easily on this as well. Uh, so for $700, it's really pretty good price. But that's going to do it for this video. Again, I'll leave the links to all these laptops in the description. The MSI Katana A15 um, that I went over in this video is definitely the best bang for your buck um, if you do have the $1,300 and you're looking for a PC that you can game on, video edit, and do pretty much whatever you want um, at pretty high frame rates on high settings. So anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.